fun. It's John at Apache Village RV Center. Sorry for the road noise, but I wanted to let you know Santa's here. It's late November, it's almost December. We have Santa here at Apache Village. Actually, that's an inflatable Santa. Close enough. But real Santa's gonna be here December 9th from 2 to 4 p.m. for our Toys, to Tot Toys for Tots drive. Uh, we're already set up for it too in the showroom. If you wanna bring some toys by for a great cause, make sure kids out there have a very Merry Christmas. Come on by and drop some toys off. But if you wanna stop by on December 9th with the kids, Santa will be here. We'll have a bunch of foods, food and drinks. We'll have great deals as well. This entire month we're doing December customer cash. Uh, that's $500,000, $2,500 up to $3,000 off specific units on our lot. Great opportunity to come in uh, right before the end of the year and get a great deal on a travel trailer, fifth wheel, or motorhome, motorhome from Apache Village. Uh, so come on by, drop off a toy, come and take advantage of the great deals, get some food, hang out with Santa Claus. We would love to see you here. But the other reason I'm out here today, we have a new unit in stock from Jayco, a beautiful new fifth wheel in the Pinnacle lineup. The Jayco Pinnacle um, has kind of evolved over the years to look a little different. These new models this year have a new exterior look, brand new interior look as well. Let's walk on over there and take a look at it. Here it is. This is the 2024 Jayco Pinnacle 38 FB RK. I almost said KR. Front bath, rear kitchen, RK. <laughs> so let's start at the front and take a walk around. So the first thing you're gonna notice, obviously, on all of these Pinnacles, this is a wide body. So 102 inch beam. Uh, North Point also has the 102 inch beam this year, but it gives you that larger interior feel. Believe it or not, it doesn't sound like a lot when it just goes up a couple of inches of the wide body, but you can feel it. Changes the entire geometry of the interior on this unit. But starting up front, we'll talk about the Jayco five-star handling system. I'm gonna go ahead and call it a six-star handling system now, and I'll explain why in a second. Little opportunity for the marketing team there at Jayco. But we have this Moride rubber pin box up front. We're gonna have the Moride LRE 4000 rubberized suspension as well. Let's see here. And then we're gonna also have these Uniroyal tires. So these are 17 and a half inch, 16 ply, H rated Uniroyal tires that are gonna be made into the Dexter axles with ABS, as I mentioned. That's my six star right there. I'm going with six stars. Uh, the ABS and tow assist. So it has anti lock brakes equipped on this. Uh, that is a newer product from Dexter. We're really excited to have that now just to make sure your family's even more safe than they were before. Um, then you're gonna have your wet bolt fasteners, bronze, bronze bushings, and 4,000 pound leaf springs in the suspension on this. Uh, if you wanna one up this suspension system, you can go to disc brakes. Uh, that does get rid of the anti-lock option, but you can get disc brakes and uh, bigger axles on this as well. All right, now moving back up to the front of the unit, you can see our big front storage compartment here. Plenty of room to add extra batteries. We have some lead acid batteries installed in this right now, but you can put lithium in here, um, no problem whatsoever. You just go up into the little circuit box up front and flip a switch that's in there and say, you know, now I have lithium batteries and it is equipped to charge those batteries without any additional hardware needed to be installed. We have our hydraulic pump right here. Then a space for a generator. We don't order them with generator prep. We typically leave that to a customer if they want to custom order one that way. You can get it with the prep in here, which comes complete with the plugs that would go into the back of the generator, the exhaust, exhaust system pre-installed, I believe as well. Um, you can also order it straight from the factory with the Onan generator in here. It's a really cool system. If you're full timing it and you like to camp off the grid a little bit, you can have that set up ready to do so. Um, this hydraulic system is a six point leveling system. There are multiple ways you can operate it. There's a control panel over here to manually operate it while you're doing your hitching. Oops, it's in this panel, sorry. No, it isn't, where is it? 
Ah, there it is, sorry. <laughs> New unit, guys, getting used to it. Right here, push these two buttons to activate the system. You'll see the little green light. You can preset a hitch height, retract all, or you know just operate it manually with your up, down, and auto level. You can also use the BM Pro system on the interior or the app on your phone to operate just about everything on this camper for the most part. Now, working our way backwards, I already cheated a little bit. I showed you the propane tanks over there. We have Max LP, three 40 pound bottles in this unit, 120 pounds of propane. Now, if you get a generator, that's outstanding. You're gonna have an LP generator on a unit like this because there's no fuel cell. So having this much propane on board is great. Also, we have a tankless water heater running on propane. You have your stove, your oven, and then the furnace, of course, running on here with propane. So having this additional propane on this unit, you're not gonna have to refill these very often. That's a great, great benefit, saving you time. You can also install a TV here on this massive storage compartment that is climate controlled. You see that little vent right there in the ductwork. We have our vacuum system and this JBL Bluetooth system that controls the outside speakers. So I can hook my phone up to this, be out here with the TV going, have some music going, get the game on, whatever I want, and you are set. That jug over here you see, by the way, that is the drinking water system that supplies the sink, the spigot on the sink, and uh, your residential refrigerator with the ice maker and the water spigot on the sink, or on the uh, refrigerator. So. All of this you're gonna see wrapped into a nice package. The fiberglass has changed colors this year. Gone are the days when we had like the champagne colored fiberglass. It is this beautiful white now. Uh, this is a vacuum bonded wall, folks. Different than the competition. A lot of the competition's gonna use uh, what's called a pinch rolled wall. They basically shoot the giant sidewall through two big hot rollers and, pssst, and that's what adheres the glue to the fiberglass. This can be um, a big disadvantage in manufacturing and the longevity of your unit, it can result in what we call delamination. If you've ever seen delamination, if you're looking down the side of the camper and has bubbles where the fiberglass has come loose from the backing, that is delamination, aka water damage. It is caused by moisture uh, more often than not. On a unit like this, this is extremely impervious to water. So vacuum bonding is a totally different process. This sidewall is put in a giant kitchen vac sealer, for lack of a better description. In an industrial setting, it is smashed down at 144 tons of pressure for up to 15 minutes in that system. Creates an extremely tight bond with the fiberglass to the hard foam core interior to the Luon backing on the interior. So what we see there is a one-piece sidewall that very, very, very rarely will delaminate. It's almost impossible to get one to do it. It's usually gonna be some sort of user error that occurs that uh, will make it delaminate. So moving right along in the exterior, we have our Truma water heater as well, tankless water heater. When you take these off, by the way, no longer do they have hinges. You gotta be careful. You can't just swing this open. You have to lift it up and then it kind of dangles here. But here is your uh, tankless water heater. Very low maintenance. You're not gonna run out of hot water. The only thing you need to be aware of is filling up your gray tank a little bit faster. We're gonna have a spray port out here, your speakers, your door latch, climate shield. So all these Jayco's are tested down to zero degrees. There's a 40,000 BTU furnace on this unit. They are put in a big hyperbaric chamber uh, and tested down to zero degrees. So you can be assured that if you are out there um, camping in the cold weather, you're gonna have 120 volt tank blankets. You're gonna have forced heat going through the underbelly. Like I said earlier, even your storage compartment is climate controlled if you want. That is a furnace vent right there. Um, these are great for full-time usage. Now, anybody that says, oh, my camper's four seasons, that doesn't mean it is totally freeze-proof. If you take this thing ice fishing in Minnesota in January and it's negative 40 outside, it's gonna turn into an ice cube itself, just like the ice it's gonna be surrounded by. <laughs> So you have to take some additional steps if you're really looking to get serious about winter camping, adding skirting, things like that. Um, but otherwise, you know, this is about as good as you can get from an insulation standpoint. We're gonna have our exterior TV, these nice squared off windows. I think this is so cool with these big old seals in them too. It's just a nice clean look to have that squared off frameless window. If you look at the way the graphics kind of flow, and the windows, just a really neat, clean look. Moving on from our TV, we're gonna have access to the back of the refrigerator. Hopefully you'll never have to mess with anything back here, but this gives us the ability to do some repairs on your fridge without yanking the entire fridge out, pulling your window out. 
Two giant awnings, slide out toppers as well. These big awnings stretch basically 90% of the length of the unit. You can see here you have tons of coverage and since this awning is actually on the slide out, you know, you're not losing any space of shade by the awning being located over the slide out. It's actually attached to the slide out and extends out extremely far. If you look right here, you're gonna have your J port. So you can attach um, the system that goes in here with the flat top griddle and be able to cook. There is a quick connect right here for your propane. Also your sewer hose, sewer hose storage as well. Connections back here for cable TV and power for anything you want to plug in out here if you did want to hook up a TV. J-Smart, the lights on this operate like an 18-wheeler. All those little red lights up top and on the side, all your side marker lights and on the front cap, all blink simultaneously. If you hit the brakes, all those lights are going to light up. You hit your blinker, they're going to flash on the sides and up top. All of this is just your safety in mind when you're towing. If somebody's in your blind spot and you don't see them and you start to come over, they're going to see that light flashing and say, hey, this person might not be able to see me. They're towing a, you know, a large fifth wheel here. They're going to know to be able to get out of your way. It's making everybody safer on the road. Everybody's going to be able to see what you're thinking and what you're doing as long as you're using your blinkers. Use your blinkers, folks. Now going to the back here, we have a molded fiberglass cap rigged up for backup cameras and the observation system. We're always going to have a ladder on our Jayco's. That ladder goes up to our Magnum Truss roof system. Magnum Truss roof, this has a truss system like a house. It'll hold 4,500 pounds and it is plywood decked, 3 8 inch plywood. So no OSB in that roof. You're not gonna have any issues with, you know, the roof softening up very quickly like some of the OSB roofs are famous for doing on some of our competition. This molded fiberglass cap is just absolutely gorgeous. It looks really cool. Kind of looks like Corvette brake lights or something. Really neat. And then of course, every Jayco fifth wheel is gonna have our 3,000 pound hitch with a two inch receiver, 300 pound um, tongue, tongue weight rating, and then a four pin wiring harness. You can see right here. And that is mated to the 12 inch I-beams on this frame. This has a massive frame. All right, continuing to work our way around the back of the unit here, you're gonna see we have a power cord reel. If you've ever been out camping when it's cold, you're gonna love this. This is the greatest thing going. You wanna guide this and make sure everything kind of lines up correctly and coils properly, but you're able to just push this button and wind this right up. These are extremely tough to rustle with when it gets under 32 degrees and they start to get just rock hard. Uh, very hard to wind up by hand. So having a power cord reel is amazing. We're also gonna have a little bit uh, of extra work back here with this gray tank that's hooked up to your sink. So I wanna make you aware of that. You know, we do have everything combined up front. You can see that sewer connection up there for the rest of the unit. But this one back here is specifically for uh, the rear kitchen sink, which we will take a look at in just a minute inside. Six point hydraulic leveling system. Here is your other uh, sewer outlet right here. This is equipped with a SantaCon. So the SantaCon Turbo is gonna help you process the contents of your black tank much more efficiently and quickly than just a gravity-fed standard system you'd have on uh, other RVs. We like to order them with this. We think it's a great feature. It's also a lot, lot quicker than doing it the old-fashioned way. You still do have your black tank flush valve here for the black tank so you can clean it out. Um, make sure it's extra clean. There's your furnace. Now we get to the Nautilus wet bay, which you've probably seen before in every video I've ever done on a fifth wheel. Everything's kind of conveniently located, no crawling around, reaching for the valves for the black tank and gray tank. We have our inline uh, water filter right here. Here's your city water connection. All of these right here, if you just take a look at the valves, you can kind of accomplish your goal by adjusting the valves for dry camping, filling your tank, city water connection, winterizing or siphoning water out of the tank as well to sanitize. Auto leveling, which I showed you earlier. We do have a motion sensor light. Connection for additional solar. There is solar on the roof already, but if you have an additional travel panel, you can do that. Right inside here, we have, whoop, there you go. Another motion sensor light. Easy access to get to the back of the Nautilus. If you have any issues and you need to troubleshoot to get back in there for maintenance purposes, you can do that very quickly. Also, this panel slides to get to the main node. So no disassembly necessarily required to do maintenance on this unit uh, to get to some of the main systems here, which is really nice. This is your drinking water system, which I mentioned earlier. 
But you can see you can refill this jug and not have to carry around big cases of bottled water all the time. You're able to fill this up. It has a five gallon capacity. Almost every Walmart or grocery store has one of these, usually located up at the front of the store or in the produce section. Um, you can refill that and eliminate having to carry around a bunch of bottled water. Actual Astrofoil insulation, not the hot dog paper. Once again, insulating the interior of the unit and this storage compartment better than the competition. And then our big 1800 watt inverter right here, which is controlled from the inside or the, oops, sorry, the power button right here as well. Here is the other side of our propane uh, storage. We have these two giant 40 pound tanks right here that are absolutely amazing. It's great having all that. This used to be an option. You used to have to get the uh, off-grid package. I'm getting that name incorrect, but basically you had to option having four, or sorry, three 40-pound bottles on this unit in the past. Now they've made it standard. It's outstanding. And touching on what I said was the six-star handling system, here's the Dexter Toe Assist right here. ABS and sway mitigation system. Anti-lock braking, sway mitigation, towable odometer as well. When this light lights up, when you hitch up, it will light up green, meaning the system is activated. It is really, really neat to have this. It is safety for your family. Peace of mind that, you know, you're going to have one of the safest fifth wheels on the road. It should eliminate any need for, um, <laughs> Ooh, stumbling over my words like crazy. This system will act just like an anti-lock brake system on your car or truck. It will stop those tires from locking up and uh, stop you from flat spotting them as well if you're in an emergency stopping situation where you'd have to basically get new tires. They'll start wobbling and towing really bad and make them completely off balance. So having that feature is keeping everybody else on the road safer. It's keeping your family safer as well. And having that anti-lock brake system will stop the camper from swaying or trying to come around your truck um, if you're in an emergency stopping situation. That kind of wraps up the exterior features I wanted to go over. So let's go take a look at the inside. This is what is actually the most incredible thing on this camper. This interior is unbelievable. Wait till you see this. This is where this unit really shines. Welcome to the interior of the brand new 2024 Jayco 38 FB RK. So when you walk in, you're just absolutely immediately stunned, in my opinion, by the amount of space that is in this interior. It is big and open and inviting. It is really cool for entertaining. You can have uh, four people sitting at the table here. If we pop this out. There are additional chairs for the main table. You have a little workstation here where you could set up your laptop and, hey, work from home, right? All of this, whoops, open this up a little bit. This drawer right here opens up on a piano hinge. You can store your laptop in there nice and neat, close everything up, and then have this area right back. Tons of windows, wireless charger over here, extra storage along the dining room table, and then as you can see in this den area here, we have a huge sectional couch with our standard uh, electric fireplace and a big insignia TV and the amazing new JBL sound system that comes with these. This is made with a uh, subwoofer, and I don't know where it's hiding in here. I'll have to ask my friend Matt over at Jayco where it's at. But there's a subwoofer in here, and this sound system is no joke. It's the first time I have flipped on a sound system in an RV and it's like, wow, this is unbelievable. Usually it's kind of tinny and it doesn't have the greatest sound quality. This thing is no joke. You can sit in here and watch whatever movie you want. You will not be disappointed. People next door are gonna be coming over asking what you have going on in here. They're gonna think you have some kind of custom sound system you're watching movies on. Now, if you kind of come back here, take a look at this couch. We have a big trifold in here. So this pops out, has an additional sleeping area, two recliners, 
these really nice decorative features up here with some uh, ambient lighting. You can shut all the lighting off. Put, oops, excuse myself. Put it in movie mode with the J-Voice system. Hey, Jayco, movie lights. Oh, does it not do movie lights? All lights. There you go. And there you go. You've got the lights dimmed down, flip your movie on, and you're ready to rock. All right, so not only are you able to entertain and watch movies and have everybody hang out out here, but of course you have the extra sleeping area I just mentioned. Now, turning your attention to the kitchen, first thing we have on our left here is a nice big pantry with an automatic light, as you can see, right next to our big 20 cubic foot GE residential refrigerator with a water dispenser, an ice dispenser. This is all hooked up to our fresh drinking water system I pointed, out, pointed to outside. Tons of space. This will run off your 1800 watt inverter. So you should not have an issue operating this on the road while you're going down the road. Flip that inverter on and you're ready to go. Tons of cabinetry. My gosh, just storage everywhere. And this is in the vintage farmhouse, by the way. I meant to mention that. So if you look here, we have the gray accent with the white cabinets. You notice as well, if you look at these fascias, these are screwed in from the backs, folks. This is an extremely high level feature for an RV. Usually you have all that smudged up putty everywhere where they took the tack gun and went down here and attached all of this. Not anymore. These are screwed in from the back. If you can see that nice shiny gloss on there, there are no marks on the front of this fascia because it is screwed in from the back. It looks unbelievably nice. You know, this is competing with some of the nicest stuff out there at a lower price point. You're gonna look at your DRV um, you know, your Riverstone legacy, stuff like that. This is competing with that level of interior at a much lower price point. Beautiful cabinet work, all maple fronts on, uh, on all of this here. Now, how cool is that? Slide this out and we have some additional storage and uh, pantry space. You can adjust the height of all of these. Really cool. This is the type of stuff we see in our big motorhomes, diesel motorhomes. We have our uh, air fryer. Combination fast cook, convection roast, convection bake. This is convection microwave slash air fryer slash standard microwave. Right above this big GE four burner, full size residential range. Really cool. Tons of cabinetry space here, extra storage where you could put pots and pans. There go. Upper cabinetry storage too. This wraps all the way around the back. Big cavernous storage area, so tons of storage here in the kitchen area. If you like to cook, this is amazing setup. And I love they put the Fantastic right above the stove. It's a no-brainer. You pop this, open this up, get this fired up, and you have amazing ventilation right above the stove for yourself, as well as the vent on the microwave here. There you go. I would personally put a max air cover on that. I know it has a rain sensor, but I'd want a max air cover just to ensure no uh, water ever gets in. Okay, moving right along. Nice big sink with a fresh drinking water system. I mentioned this, it's the third time I've mentioned it now, but this is attached to, uh, it's routed straight to the big Culligan jug that's in your storage compartment out there. So you have a five gallon jug that feeds this and your ice maker and water spigot right there. Big farmhouse style sink. I prefer personally to have the big open sink and not the divided one. I know everybody can argue it their own way. I like to have this because I can fit pots and pans and cookie sheets and bigger stuff in here, cutting boards, etc. instead of having the divider. I get it. Some people like to have, you know, I have water here and then I rinse here. I have the soap here and rinse that and this is clean and that's dirty or whatever. Just my personal preference. I really like that it is an undermount too. You can just wipe stuff straight into the sink if you need to and then clean up from there. Most importantly, right below it, dishwasher. Every Pinnacle has the standard dishwasher now, which is an outstanding feature. Tons more cabinet space. Right next to where we have the trash can. Give that a good tug. Oh, and it comes with the trash can, surprise. I actually did not know that was in there. Oh, cool. You know what that's for. I'm storing these so you don't have these flopping around while you're driving down the road. You can store these little covers for the sink right in here. Perfect. 
And then a nice little countertop extension cutting board right here as well. So when you look at this, tons of cabinetry, an amazing kitchen, even if that was it, this would be really cool. The best thing about it is you have this amazing kitchen sitting right next to this amazing living room. This floor plan is unbelievable. It was received with flying colors and celebration at the Hershey RV show, and you can see why. This is something really neat that Jayco's come up with here. Bravo to the engineers that came up with this floor plan. Mike Applin, I assume you had a lot to do with this matchup. Way to go, guys. Now we'll take a look at the uh, half bath and start to move into the front of the unit and check out the front bath as well. All right, so moving on back towards the half bath, we have an additional fantastic fan up there. And all of that's controlled here, by the way. You open this up, you have your BM Pro, your Aqua Go Truma control. This is controlling your tankless water heater. This is controlling that vent right there. And it's all very convenient. Here's your fan, which is turned off, but this switch operates your fan. Get that closed. Then you open this up. Here you go. And this is not just a small half bath. This is a giant half bath with a bunch of storage and cabinetry and medicine cabinet. And all this, all this storage as well, all the way from the floor to the ceiling. This floor plan is just unbelievably cool for somebody that is extremely serious about camping, looking to go cross country, gonna full time it, whatever. This is just really, really neat. There is your little closet for storing your coats and everything, the dog leashes and such. Now, moving into the bedroom, we have a big king-size bed in this model, a nice farmhouse door that closes this off and gives you your privacy. All of these outlets on the side of the bed are wired to the inverter. So if you are sleeping at a rest area overnight or something like that, and you have a CPAP machine or something along those lines, or you just need to charge your phone, whatever you need to do, you can plug into that, turn on the inverter, and you have power running off the battery. Our second Whisper Quiet AC 15,000 15, BTU AC is back here. These can be ordered or installed at the uh, dealer with a third AC, so you can do that if you want. Here we have our wine guard gateway. If you go on the roof up above this, we have our wine guard antenna. That's your TV antenna, your radio antenna, and your Wi Fi antenna as well. Just flip that little switch, get a SIM card from your wireless provider, put it in there, and you're good to go with internet. One of my favorite features, this little flip top storage area here. And then tons of full extend, four sided, one, two, three, four sided solid wood cabinets, or uh, drawers rather. <laughs> tons of accent lighting under there as well. Let's see what we have under the bed. I've not lifted this up yet. So a lot of storage. There's our two chairs that we can have. One of them's already out there. Uh, this additional chair though can go to that dinette. Your hose for the vacuum system, which I passed up. It's right under the step out there. All of your goodies and bro or, uh, manuals and everything. Winterization hose, extra water filter, spray port attachment, including your little spray handle. Your little wrench for your uh, water filter right there. And then a manual crank if you ever need to uh, manually override anything on the unit. Walking into the front bath. Huge shower with a flip down little teak wood bench right there. We have front sprayers on the shower attachment, a detachable shower detachment, detachable shower attachment right here as well. Place to put all your shampoo and such. This is a nice big shower, guys. And then a great ventilation system as well. It just doesn't have that little dinky fan. We have our nice big full-blown Max X fan. Fantastic, whatever you want to call it, but two different brands there. SantaCon Turbo we mentioned before, the black tank is equipped with that. So we're able to process the contents for black tank very quickly. Huge mirror with the two big pedestal sinks. Tons of storage underneath here for towels and such. But one of the coolest things we have, what's behind this door? A giant walk-in closet with motion sensor lighting that should turn on. There it goes. Tons of clothing storage. I'm literally, you know, standing in here. This is a big closet. <laughs> and you can put a stackable washer dryer right here. Another great feature. So it smells amazing back here with all the cedar veneer they put back here. Very, very nice. The cedar paneling is awesome. It smells good. It looks nice. 
tons of clothing storage. And then, like I said, the washer dryer stackable uh, washer dryer can be right here. I can't say enough about how great this floor plan is for full time living. This is really cool. If you just take a look at everything we have to offer on this floor plan, front bath, big king size bed, tons of storage, bath and a half that can also be optioned into a giant pantry, this huge, huge living area with recliners, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned the recliners, but it has two little recliners next to each other. The TV, the amazing sound system, the accent lighting, all the ventilation, the third AC option, the work from home station, the amazing kitchen with tons of countertop space, tons of storage, dishwasher. <laughs> I mean, what else do you want? Literally, comment below. What else do you want? I can't think of anything. This is amazing. If you're serious about travel and looking for an extremely well-built, well-thought-out, well-engineered floor plan that is just going to knock your socks off, this is it. It looks unbelievably great in here. All the fit and finish is incredible. This is the first one we've ordered. We're going to order a lot more, I can tell you that. If you have any questions, like I said, comment below. I'm happy to answer them for you. But this is the brand new 2024 Jayco Pinnacle 38 front bath rear kitchen FBRK. If you have any questions, comment below. Oh, the lights are listening to me. It just went in dim light mode. <laughs> if you have any questions, comment below. And we uh, would love to earn your business here at Apache Village. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thank you.